Good morning, everybody. Pastor Mark here, and we are having our morning devos. Um, this morning, we're going to be reading from Oswald Chambers. So, here we go. This is called the Offering of the Natural. It is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondwoman, the other by a free woman. Galatians 4:22. Paul was not dealing with sin in this chapter of Galatians, but with the relation of the natural to the spiritual. The natural can be turned into the spiritual only through sacrifice. Without this, a person will lead a divided life. Why did God demand that the natural must be sacrificed? God did not demand it. It is not God's perfect will, but his permissive will. God's perfect will was for the natural to be changed into the spiritual through obedience. Sin is what made it necessary for the natural to be sacrificed. Abraham had to offer up Ishmael before he offered up Isaac. See Genesis 21 verses 8 through 14. Some of us are trying to offer up spiritual sacrifices to God before we have sacrificed the natural. The only way we can offer up a spiritual sacrifice to God is to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Romans 12.1 Sanctification means more than being freed from sin. It means the deliberate commitment of myself to the God of my salvation and being willing to pay whatever it may cost. If we do not sacrifice the natural to the spiritual, the natural life will resist and defy life of the Son of God in us and will produce continual turmoil. This is always the result of an undisciplined spiritual nature. We go wrong because we stubbornly refuse to discipline ourselves physically, morally, or mentally. We excuse ourselves by saying, well... I wasn't taught to be I wasn't taught to be disciplined when I was a child. Then discipline yourself now. If you don't, you will ruin your entire personal life for God. God is not actively involved with our natural life as long as we continue to pamper and gratify it. But once we are willing to put it out in the desert and are determined to keep it under control, God will be with it. He will then provide wells and oases and fulfill all his promises for the natural. See Gen Genesis 21, 15 through 19. So what I'm getting from uh, Oswald here, um, and obviously from God's word, is that we have to let go of our natural self. So naturally we want to do what we want to do. Naturally we want to do what feels good at the moment. But I think what God is trying to tell us here is that we need to let go of what is natural and what feels good all the time and sacrifice that to God and surrender it to Him so that we can truly be free to uh, live a spiritual life. And it's not just a spiritual life, but the one that is following Christ. And that does take sacrifice. It doesn't mean... Um, doesn't mean you have to like do all these things to earn salvation. You've got salvation if you're a Christ follower. But we still wrestle with the old self, and we have to surrender that old self. And it's really a great imagery of when God, when Abraham sent Ishmael to the desert, God took care of him. God took care of Ishmael. And, uh, you know... Abraham had to surrender that over to God and and he cuz God could not do his complete work in Abraham until he did that. And and he did it for both. He provided for both Isaac and Ishmael. And so when you are wrestling with the things that might there may, you know you have to ask yourself what is it that's in my natural life that is coming between me and God or God and I? And uh, and you've got to surrender that over to him so he can do his full work in you. So that's our word for today. And uh, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And uh, 
We're praying for you, and uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, send them our way. And uh, we look forward to seeing people Sunday, so we'll talk to you soon. Bye. See you tomorrow.